Hello YouTube, this is the multimedia update of the 22nd of October 2016. In this update we've got three DVDs. One is part of the Not Disney collection and two are part of our new, our new Monday releases on the 17th of October. And I also have one retail video and and five rentals. So let's get started on the first DVD, which is a chapter from the Mark Disney collection. I'm doing it so I'll do a review of it first and get it over with. And it's Cars Life 2. Start your engine, spark is back. <clears throat> For some reason it has the same cover as it has the back the background try the background is from the first movie. I, at the beginning of this update I decided to do an expression, a voice expression. As a special, and this is released by Anchor Bay. This film actually has an opening logo at the start of the film itself. It's Spark Plug Entertainment, which is the animation studio that made this film, and the distribution company is Anchor Bay. It's got no material likely to offend or harm, offend or harm because the film is so inoffensive. I think it's quite the opposite. I think it's nearly the opposite of its predecessor. And I'll actually now show you a review of this film. Cars Life 2 improves on every aspect the first film failed to do. But that's like having a normal poop instead of diarrhea. It's still a disgusting piece of poop at the end of the day. The CGI is more stylized and clean. The aspect ratio is correct this time. All in all, it's a lot less of a visual bombardment of overwhelming crappy oily car poop. They toned down some of the voice acting and replaced a few of the really poor decisions, like the dad character's voice actor. He's gone. And there's not, murder? This time. The only positive the first movie has over this one is the fact that it's half the running time. Cars Life 2 is nearly an hour and 20 minutes long. And my god do you feel every second of it. It's just bearable for about half, but after that it's just too much. It's very clearly aimed at extremely young children who like cars. But then, why would anyone in their right mind choose this over Cars or Cars 2? This is ultimately where the biggest problem with Cars Life 2 lies. In being so inoffensive so harmless. They expect me to give it a pass. But ultimately, it is still a sub pair piece of entertainment for the whopping price of £1.80. Every single detail of the story is incredibly simplistic and over explained. There is not one single bit of entertainment value in this movie for anyone over the age of two. <laughs> Cars Life 2 is still a swack you. Gimme, gimme, gimme some gasoline, baby. But there's absolutely nothing to say about it. Nothing interesting at least. The story is nearly identical to the first iteration. It even ends on the same joke as the first movie. You giving Diesel a ticket for killing Piston and slicing Speedy? Nope, for driving without a license. <sighs> For trying to kill me? No, Diesel is under arrest for driving with an expired registration. Oh, that's ironic, but it's not dramatic. And the only new elements that it brings to the table are just scenes where the point or punchline is repeated ad nauseum to hammer home a very broad or child-friendly point. I don't know why they felt it was necessary to have a love subplot, with these two characters, like who cares, just take this out and have a more focused baby movie. 
and there are like 17 more Cars Life movies that I'm sure are making some guy's wallet very happy. I considered not even finishing watching this the first time I put it on, but I did in the end. But you could watch like 2 minutes of this and have the exact same experience that I did. Now let's continue on with the update. And now on with the other two DVDs while we're at it. These are two new Monday releases. And the first one is the re-release of the 1978 Doctor Strange. This was released, it's been re-released around the same time as the Marvel Cinematic Universe film, which is Doctor Strange. And this DVD is from Universal. This is probably my third real D this is probably my third real DVD with the 2013 logo on it. And I hadn't got it long after Beethoven's Treasure Tale. Seeing as how they're both rated U and they both have the 2013 Universal logo on, on it. They're both rated U in UK but PG in Ireland. I'll show you that soon. It's from 2016, obviously, because it came out Monday 17th. And it's rated you in UK, but PG in Ireland, that's proof. And it's got the 2013 Universal logo there as well. And it's got the URL for universalpictures.co.uk. Films from 1978, as I said, but the DVD is released in 2016. And the next and final DVD for this update is The Meddler. It's another new release. It stars Susan Sarandon, Rose Byron, and J.K. Simmons on Sony Pictures. This film is also made by Stage 6 Films and Anonymous Content. It's rated 12 for infrequent strong language and drug misuse. Not for rental. Yes, they still have that. Still, after 12 years. Yes, it was introduced in 2004. To videos, DVDs, and later on Blu-rays. And there's the disc itself. It's got this white text. White. It's got the white background lay. It's got the white background label. All that they started doing in what 2012. Oh, I don't know, but it, they've used that kind of design on DVDs for year, for a few years and for most of the 2010s now. From like 2012, and they're probably still going to use that design for a long time. And now onto the retail tape, which is Dirty Rotten Scoundrels with Steve Martin and Michael Caine. Nice guys finish last, meet the winners. Pure movie magic, according to screens. This film was made by Orion and it's a virgin video, it's a virgin release from 1990. This is my first, this is my first video on this label. Cool. And it's, and it's got the Simon Bates PG warning at the start. And the text and all the logos and ratings on the label and all the information is yellow because it's a PG. And inside, there's an advert. There's an en, there's an inlay advertising of a Virgin Films. And then, I think Virgin started creating videos in 1980 to 1990 when it was bought by Polygram and it turned into Vision Video. And then got bought by Universal when Seagram and Sons owned Universal and the Virgin name remains in film still because 
they've resurrected it as a film production company called Virgin Produced, which made Limitless, Movie 43 and Immortals. Those are just some examples of films that Virgin produced that in the 2010s when it was resurrect, like resurrected. I don't know if it was was it completely in a, a resurrection, but the name, the company still remains in the name. And now on, to, and there's more rentals than retails in this update. So let's get on with the rentals. I've got this five video box, this five video order on eBay, and they, these are the films that I got with this one. This is the thriller, the the thriller bundle that I ordered on eBay. It includes five rentals. This one's Catwoman with Halle Berry on Warner. It's from 2004. Many people thought this was a box office bomb, but sometime I'll need to try it out myself. The tape's copy protected. The only tape that isn't copy protected in this update is Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, which I just showed you. All the rentals in this update, I think, are copy protected. It's, it's got it, 12 contains moderate action violence rental copy resale restricted I got this for resale so yeah it's also a village roadshow film at the time village roadshow did a lot of films with Warren Brothers pardon me I just burped I just put a that that has nothing burping has nothing to do with this video but it just happened burping is inevitable Anyway, let's get back on to the update. This is the tape itself. Like most Warner rentals at the time, the tape's blue. That's Warner, what Warner did. <coughs> That's what Warner did since 2002, when they got the not for rental and rental copy resale restricted stuff, and also when they got this hol this cool this cool new hologram with the updated Warner logo from 97 though they didn't update the hologram until 2002 on rentals and 2003 on all tapes rental copy resale restricted again and it's got the older style 12 cert on the label but the newest but newer style cert on the cover all around. It's got the newer style set on the cover and it's got the older style set on the label and it's got an end label with the content advisory on it so that you know what the film contains so you can decide whether it's appropriate or inappropriate for you younger children. They do that, they did that with all rentals but they did a content advisory with most rentals at the time. This next one here is Clear and Present Danger. This is the second chapter in the Jack Ryan series. I've got the first one, which is Patriot Games. I've got that on Blu-ray. This film stars Harrison Ford. Truth needs a soldier. It's a Paramount release. This is, this is a CIC release from, I guess, 1994. 94 I guess or 95 I don't know but this is this is a Paramount Pictures film but for some for some reason this comes in an RCA Columbia Pictures international video case even though it's a CIC film so they must have they must have lost the case for this so they had to get a new cover, a new cover for the RCA. And there's the tape itself, it's got the Paramount hologram there and a barcode at the bottom, like what CIC always did at the time, what they mostly did at the time to be fair. And as you would expect, like most CIC rentals, it's copy protected. And the next one is, and the next one is the rental copy of Hellboy with Ron Perlman and Selma Blair on Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment and Revolution Studios. 
it's got the British and Irish certificates. I assume that Columbia TriStar was one of the first companies to put both the British and Irish ratings. And they've got that rental copy resale restricted on the same, it's the same kind of style as not for rental and they still will use the not for rental today and they'll probably use it for the rest of DVD, Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD's live and for new formats. <coughs> Just need to clip from all that talking. Contains moderate fantasy violence and horror. This film's also produced by Lawrence Gordon Productions, which also made the Tomb Raider film series and K Pax. This comes in a black rental case, big box. And there's the tape itself. It's got the Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment hologram in the same style as home video. I don't know why they didn't have the same hologram as Spider-Man 2 because that came out near the same time. Perhaps it's just ironic. Perhaps they just put that on. I don't know why. But they should have put the newer one on. But I understand why they put... I don't know why they put that one on, but it still counts. The tape label cyan because it's 12. <coughs> I need to cough there because I took a lot of breath. And instead of having the content advisory in these lines, it, it's like the cover, it says contains mon moderate fantasy violence and horror. And the next tape here is The Recruit with Al Pacino and Colin Farrell. Trust, betrayal, deception. Nothing is what it seems. This is a rental tape. It's an action thriller on Touchstone. It's got the hologram there, the round hologram that they used until 2004. <coughs> I just had to cough there. Taking lots of breaths. It's a touchstone film produced by Spyglass Entertainment. And there's the tape itself. It's got the Buena Vista 2003 hologram there and it's got, yet again, it's got an end label of the content advisory on it. A lot of the rental tapes I've got in this update have them on it. Almost about over half of them. And the final tape, and the final tape in this update is Zulu Dawn. Burt Lancaster, Peter O'Toole, and Simon Ward. I wasn't talking... Not to be confused with the GoAnimate user, Simon Ward. This is the actor who was probably born long before him. I've seen... Yeah, I've seen some of Simon Ward's YouTube videos. The GoAnimator I was talking about. This film stars the actor though, and this is, um, this is... <coughs> I just need to cough there. This is a mosaic release from... This is a, this is a mosaic release from 1998. This is my first video on this label. It's copper protected. Distributed by Sony Music Operations. Which means it was distributed by Columbia TriStar Home Video. That explains. And it, this tape comes from bi video this tape comes from video box office. 
and it's got a barcode at the bottom. The cover, the label looks kind of similar to Columbia TriStar Home Video because it's distributed by that. This is my first, and as I said, this is my first video on Mosaic. I have a, I had a DVD called Snow Job on this label. I used to. I'll eventually get on video if I can because I heard there's another bundle, a comedy film bundle, which in includes that film on eBay, sold by the same seller. So when I have the money, I'll get it. Possibly in the next update. And now onto the one cinema ticket I got. Let me just get it out. I'm just going to find it. I saw this film yesterday and it's Storks. It's from the same animation studio as the Lego movie, which is Warner Animation Group. I saw this on screen 14. <coughs> which I think was the same screening I went to when I saw Swallows and Amazons. And I was in row H and seat 9. In a minute, I'll show you... The, the cinema schedule now. What's, how many films have I seen in the cinema to th this year? <coughs> okay. Daddy's Home, Deadpool, Zoolander 2, Grimsby, Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Ship. <coughs> I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit croaky, but... I'm sorry if I sound like I've got a frog in my throat, but I've got a cult. <coughs> and Captain America, Civil War, Robinson Crusoe, Jungle Book, A Hologram for the King, X-Men Apocalypse, Mother's Day, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, Gods of Egypt, Independence Day Resurgence, The Legend of Tarzan, absolutely fabulous the movie, Now You See Me 2, Ghostbusters, Star Trek Beyond, Finding Dory, Suicide Squad, The BFGs, Walls and Amazons, Sausage Party, Nine Lives, Ben-Hur, The Magnificent Seven, Bridge Jones's Baby, Deepwater Horizon, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Inferno and Storks. And in the next update I'll probably have two cinema tickets for the two films that I'm going to see next week. And they're both distributed by 20th Century Fox. And those films are going that I'm going to see next week will be Keeping Up With The Joneses and DreamWorks Trolls. And now I'll just go and get the movie posters. There's five film posters. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this film poster is all, is for the film Almost Christmas, which comes out the same day as Allied, which I showed you the movie poster for last update. And the film's distributed by Universal Pictures and produced by Will Packer Productions. Printed this off on the 20th of October 2016, which is the last day of school before half term for me. And the next poster is for a film that I'm going to see, and that's Arrival. It's rated 12A. And it's produced and it's distributed by Entertainment One in the UK, but Paramount in the US. It's distributed by Entertainment One in the UK. It's produced by Film Nation Entertainment. 
You want to stop disturbing me? Sorry. Let's continue on. The film's also produced by Lava Bear Films, which is a production company owned by Reliance Entertainment. And it's also produced by 21 Laps Entertainment. And the next movie poster is for another film that I'm going to see. It's the animated film Ballerina. It comes out on the 19th of December. The film's produced by Galmont and distributed by Entertainment One over here in the UK. I printed up, I printed all five of these movie posters off on the last day of school. On a normal, typical Friday at, or end of week at school, I'd only print off one. But on a day, on a on a special day like half term or end of term at times, I'd print off more than one. And this next poster is for. Collateral Beauty. I'm probably going to see this film. I also did a trailer react for this film. No joke, I actually did. And the film's distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures, produced by New Line Cinema, because New Line Cinema films nowadays are distributed by Warner Brothers worldwide, and it's produced by Village Roadshow Pictures and produced by Overbrook Entertainment. And this film stars Will Smith, and Overbrook is Will Smith's film studio. I printed all these posters off on the 20th of October. All five of these in this update. And the next film poster is a film that I'm going to see, and I also saw the poster for this. I'm going to see it, it comes out the same week as film ballerina which I showed you a few seconds ago and it's Passengers which stars Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt 30 years into a 120 year journey they weren't supposed to wake up this film's distributed by Columbia Pictures a Sony company and produced by Village Roadshow Pictures and Original Film And that's it for this update and this, this one today was quite a big one and the, the newer updates that I've done have been much smaller but this one's quite big, this, this one's quite big, I've finally had a big, another big one because I haven't had a big one like this for a long time. So stay tuned for more videos coming up soon. And I'll get the openings to all of these done as soon as possible.